everyone, it's Sky here and welcome to part three of our Christmas color along. And of course we are coloring in Hannah Lynn's A Whimsy Girl's Christmas. And the page we are coloring is a holly wreath fairy. If you've been following along thus far, this is what we've gotten done. And today I think we're going to move on to the wreath. As always, apologies for my squeaky chair. Um, so I've been kind of thinking on how to do this wreath, what colors to use. Um, I did notice that there are kind of like mistletoe leaves and stuff in here, so I've been trying to decide whether to do um, the wreath with the same colors or do these leaves a different color than the actual wreath itself. Um, I was playing around with the idea of doing a silver wreath. I thought it'd be really, really pretty. It'd also be really tricky to do, but I think I want to go with a traditional kind of green wreath and have it lean more towards like the moss green area. So I think that's what we're going to do because it's going to really complement our blues and it's going to work well with the red berries that we're going to have in here. So with that being said, we're going to dive on in and... Just zoom in here. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do. So we've got her wings in here. Now I want, sorry, let me turn my sound off. Okay, I want her wings to be translucent. So I want to be able to see the wreath in behind her wings. So I'm going to go in with a Staedtler pigment liner. Um, if you don't have this, you can use just a normal fine liner, any kind of pigment liner you have, or even the black Prisma pencil. Um, also, if you're not very good at drawing, I would suggest going in with a pencil first, but I'm not too worried. So I'm just going to come in and kind of fill in some area of the wreath here and just kind of make it match a little bit in with the picture so that way you can't really tell that it's been drawn in there. So that way we'll have the wreath showing in behind her wings which is going to help make them look translucent. So now we want to be careful not to smudge that so I'm going to start working up at this corner here and I think what I want to do first is pick out all these berries. So I'm going to go in with the black raspberry and that's going to be our darkest area and I kind of want these berries to kind of be straight on in the light so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black raspberry and I'm just going to go in and around these berries. Not too much because we still have two other colors to attempt to fit in here. These little ones like this, I'm just going to put in just a tiny bit of the shadow. Sorry, just kind of pausing here and there just to make sure that I'm still in frame. I'm not even really sure if these bigger baubles in here are berries, but I'll just go ahead and color all of these little round parts as berries, except for these little dots in here. We'll probably go back in and put them in as white, or maybe gold might even look nice. So don't forget about the berries in her hair. I'm just going to start on this side because I 
lets me know what is in focus and what isn't. You can hear that little bit of uh, sound in the background. So that's just Miss Lilo. She's in here eating. At least I think it's Lilo. Oh, no, I lied. It's Stitch. He's a very loud eater. Okay, so this here looks like a bunch of little berries. I also think this probably should have been colored in with the background. Mommy, say happy Saturday. Sorry about that, I had to tend to my little one, although for you guys, it does seem like I was here the whole time. Okay, so that's pretty much it for a black raspberry, I think. Our next color is raspberry. And again, I don't want too much of this color either. I'm mostly going to use it where we have already put the black raspberry. So I'll start here, and I'm just going to use this to kind of burnish the very outsides of the berries. And then I'm going to bring it in slightly on the larger ones, where we have a little bit more room to work with. Other than that, I kind of want to leave a little bit of a center highlight. We might not even use our lightest color. I might leave them like this. So just leave a little bit of a center highlight. Don't mind the noise in the background. I actually feel like this is a cluster of berries too, so I'm just going to come in and put a little bit of color on those. It's all over the place. Now we got a cat in the litter box. Don't mind them. Okay. So we're just going to keep coming in here.
might still come in with our lightest red, which is going to be the carmine red. And I'm going to use this just to kind of lighten up these berries a little bit. I'm going to try to avoid the areas where I've kind of left a little bit white. But other than that, I'm going to use a pretty firm pressure and I'm going to blend this into the other colors. And then just kind of fade it out just like we did with the raspberry. But I don't know if you can really see the difference, but it is lightening it up a little bit. I'm just adding a little bit more color in. I'll just keep going. A little bit of a madhouse in my house today, if you can hear. These berries back here, for the most part, they're not going to have much of a highlight because they're kind of tucked in behind these leaves and stuff, so I'm not really going to worry about preserving the light there. Sorry if the camera shook, Miss Lilo's in here. Usually I'm not a huge fan of reds in pictures, <coughs> excuse me, but I think, at least I'm hoping with the colors that we've picked and especially the greens that this is going to go up against, I'm really hoping that they'll go well together. Miss Lilo. Okay, so there's our berries done. And so far, I think it's looking pretty good. I just got a sip of tea here. <coughs> I woke up with a bit of a sore throat today, so not very fun. Zoom out just a little bit here. Just so we don't have to move the book around so much. Hopefully you guys are still close enough that you can see what I'm doing. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my black and I'm going to use this for my shadow color. Now I don't usually like using black for shadows because I just usually like using a different color. Normally, I was actually thinking about using indigo blue for the shadows here, but I can't remember why I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> I think because I'm trying to go for that kind of mossy green kind of color, and it's really hard to achieve with the Prismas, even though they give out various shades of greens like that, I find that a lot of them just don't blend well together, so it just leads me to use the black for shading. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this in just a whole bunch of different random places, anywhere where it looks like um, it's behind something, I'm going to pop that black in. And 
I'm not going to worry about getting these shadows perfect. As long as we have them in there, it's going to add some interest to the piece, and that's what I'm more aiming towards. Uh, now that I'm adding this black in here, I'm almost having second thoughts about making this a silver wreath instead. We might just do that. Let's get our black in and then we'll make a decision. You know, that happens quite a bit where I think I have a picture completely figured out, but then I change my mind. <laughs> That's perfect. My little one's in the background singing Christmas carols. You probably can't hear him. The only qualm that I'm having about possibly making the wreath silver is these stars on her face and her necklace and then there's a few stars mixed in around the wreath as well. In my mind I kind of see them gold which would have worked really well with the green. I'm not sure how well it would go with the silver. We could make them silver as well, but then it might be a little bit too much silver. We could keep them white, actually, and cover them in stickles. I think that might look okay. I'm not going too fast for you guys. I usually work fast to keep myself from overthinking. Because I find if I'm overthinking then it usually does not turn out well, so... I'm so on the fence right now, I just cannot make up my mind what I want to do. I might have to ask my guru.
confused on this part right here. I'm fairly certain that this is ribbon. And I'm thinking we've got all these little swirly little bits in here. So I'm thinking we'll probably do those purple if we do the wreath silver. Or if we do it green, let's pick a different color, but not 100% sure yet. So we'll just leave that for now. But this little bit here, I'm not really sure what it is. So I'm just going to color it in as a leaf. It might not be a leaf, but it should work pretty good anyways. This little puff in her hair, I'm just going to color in behind it. We'll probably use our um, pom pom effect with that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, in this page here, we actually did this one as a Christmas in July color along, so we'll probably use that technique for the pom-pom and for her shirt, so that'll definitely look really nice. Um, it's another reason why I probably wouldn't want those stars silver, or white, I mean. So be up against white. I'm not 100% sure what to do. Sometimes I really hate making decisions, but y'all are here through the process, so hopefully it's helping you guys as well. I definitely don't always know what I'm going to do, that's for sure. I think it maybe do the stars purple as well, actually. I think I do really want this wreath to be silver. And I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> Sorry guys. Just talking to myself trying to figure this out. I am going to ask my friend and see what she thinks. So with that being said, I'm going to message her and then we'll probably come back and fix these little bits around here that um, are supposed to be background that we kind of, that I missed, you guys might not have. So I messaged my friend, let's see what she says, while I'm waiting for her to reply back. I'm not gonna grab out my swatch cards for this because this was technically already supposed to be done. So I'm just gonna grab the colors. First one, if I can find it. My goodness, where is it? Okay, there we go. Okay, the first one is Peacock Blue, and that is going to go right here. So I'm just going to solidly color in this area here. Okay, and then the other bits are where the trees were. So I'm just going to grab my bronze and my ginger roots. Might not need the white, we'll see. So we've got this one here. So I'm just going to come in with the bronze and add a little bit of color here. And then come in with the ginger root. And just kind of fade that out. We probably will need to grab the white too. So I'm going to grab that. And just blend over top. So there's that one. Um, <coughs> sorry guys. Um, I'm going to grab the peacock blue again actually. I'm pretty sure this bit here. Probably background as well, so we'll color that in. And then, from what I can tell, I think that's pretty much all of it, except for just a couple up top here. So, this one, just go in a little bit with the bronze, and this one as well, I think I missed. So, we'll switch to the ginger root and go over top with the ginger root, fade it out. And then lastly, we'll just go in with the white and just blend that all together. Okay, she might not respond. 
bonds back right away. Is there anything else we can do while we're waiting? I guess actually we can come back in with the black. I forgot about this so I'll plant right here. So I'm just going to come in and give that a little bit of shadow in along the lines that Hannah's drawn in here. spot here. So in with the bronze and then I think this one I'm just gonna go in with the white and then just fill that in. Just leave it kind of like that. And I shall be back when my phone dies. Okay, hey everybody. Um, it's been like a second for you guys. It's actually been a couple days for me. Um, so we're going to get started on this wreath. I put a poll up on YouTube and asked you guys what you what you wanted the wreath to look like and the majority of you voted for silver so that's what we're going to go with. That's kind of what I was leaning towards too although I do feel like green would be nice. Silver just would kind of stand out a little bit I think and make it kind of unique. Um, I'm going to apologize if my voice cracks or anything. I woke up with a sore throat this morning, so I'm going to try to push through recording this part and part four of our tutorial today. That way I can start editing and then have them set and ready to go for December. Um, yeah, so... Grab my, uh, color swatches, but I didn't grab my pencils. So... We're going to be using 20% cool gray, 50% cool gray, and that's pretty much it. We're going to use a little bit of the white, and then we've got our black shading in here, and I'm hoping that should be enough. So let's move up top here. We're going to go in with the 50% first. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to start putting it in where... We've put the black and I'm just going to use this to kind of blend into the black and then I'm just going to bring it out a little bit. And then for the most part this is just going to be grays. Our white is, I think it's probably just going to blend and be our like super light areas if we need it to be. Although I think it'll probably be okay without it. So I'm just trying to leave a little bit of a highlight in around the tops of all of these. So I just want the middles and anywhere where it comes out from behind something to be darker. And then I want all of these highlights to be white because that's going to make it stand out and look interesting. Let me just see which day this is going to be coming out on. Okay, so this is part three, so this is actually going to be up on the 21st, so by the time this is out we're going to be getting pretty close to Christmas. And I will just squeeze in here that if you guys are interested in coming and watching a live stream, um, I will be streaming tonight. Me and Nick and Tina over at Nick and Tina Colors are doing a Color Me festive night tonight. And it should be pretty fun. They're going to stream for two hours and then I'm going to stream for two hours. So they're going to stream from four to six Mountain Standard Time. 
and I'm going to stream from 6 to 8 Mountain Standard Time. So if that's not a crazy odd hour for you and you're interested in being there, I would definitely recommend it. Um, if you've never been to one of the live streams before, they're super fun. Um, it's nice because you can actually get involved, you can chat with people, you can ask questions. It's just really nice and I'm thinking just kind of grab a cup of hot cocoa or something and a coloring book and just kind of sit down and cozy up and just color and chat and it'll be super awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not worrying about all these little dots. I'm going to come back in with a white pen and kind of bring them out. Um, if you don't have a white pen, you could always go around them, or what I would do, because it'd be kind of a hassle to go around all of these, I would probably just do them in black, or even red. You could go in with like a red felt, like, felt eh, fine liner, or marker or something, and it might be a little bit easier. But I imagine most everybody has a white pen. <laughs> Hoping I'm not getting sick, starting to take some Echinacea and max doses of vitamin C to hopefully get rid of this, as well as gargling apple cider vinegar, which is always fun. It's really not, it's worse than Buckley's, but it definitely works. At least for the sore throat part of any sicknesses, so. But I'm not sure if it's from a sore throat or my hubby is actually going through our basement downstairs and he's ripping out this old shower that has been down there since we moved in and probably since the owners before us moved in too. And it's just, it floods all the time. It's not tiled or grouted properly, so it just leaks everywhere. So it's all moldy and just gross and he's finally getting it out of here. So I'm not sure if my sore throat is from that or it's from getting sick. I'm thinking about it now. We probably should have waited to start on that project until summer where we could have like all the windows and doors and stuff open to air out the house. Not in the winter when you're kind of trapped inside with the air. This little bit here I kind of missed. I want to come in and put just a little bit of a, a little bit of a shadow right there. Just kind of make it match, and this silver is really pretty. I think it's going to be awesome, and I've actually been playing around with the idea of using some Wink of Stella all over the gray parts of the wreath to make it look like that really pretty gray, glittery Christmas decorations you see. Not really gray, it's more silver, but... And then I was thinking purple for all of these little, I don't know, whatever these little things are in here, and the stars, but now I'm not so sure. I really don't know what color I want to do them. Thinking about maybe just keeping them blue. I don't want to add too much color to this picture. I want it to be fairly limited. I could also just do them red, and the stars wouldn't look very good red. It's one of those pictures where there's enough going on that it can kind of get confusing and just slightly overwhelming. But we'll get it figured. I've also noticed, it's kind of funny, I did this in my last videos, or my Vixie color along. When I pre-record videos, sometimes I forget what I chat about while I'm recording. And then by the time it's all out and you guys are watching and commenting on it and replying to some of my comments, I just feel bad because I have to ask you what you're replying to because I don't remember. But... 
it's definitely nice having videos pre-recorded and ready to go. Less stressful, I can just upload them to YouTube, schedule them, and it will be especially nice next month, technically this month when you're watching it, because with the holidays it's going to be crazy busy and going to be here, there, and everywhere. I'm just not going to have time to do it, so definitely have to get it done now. I'll use a sharper tip on my pencil here. So that was our 50% cool gray. So next we're going to go in with the 20% cool gray. Might not even need the white, actually. It's looking pretty good without it. Oh, actually, it's a little too soon. I forgot about her little hair piece here. Let's go back to the 50%. And pop a little bit of this gray in her little hair piece. Okay, now in with 20%. Oh my goodness. Camera's gonna shake, she's going up on the shelf. <laughs> Do you want me to? Yeah. Let's open that a little bit for you. Oh, I think that helped us quite a bit too. Way better lighting. What was I thinking? She's happy now. She can see outside. So for the most part, I'm just putting this into the highlighted areas, but I might blend it into the shadows a little bit too, just to kind of soften them up. Kind of make the colors look more unanimous. This is going to knock back the lines, or the vines, I suppose, in the... Sorry, she's moving around again. In these leaves. So we could leave it as is if you like the softened look of them, or if you want the vines to stand out more, you can always go back in with a black fine liner or... Um, Black Prisma pencil to kind of bring those lines back out a little bit and make them stand out more. I'm not sure what I'll end up doing. Probably do that next part in the final touches. I kind of like to see how the whole picture looks before making decisions like that.
I do apologize if you can hear the banging downstairs. That can't be helped. Miss Lilo, you gotta sit still up there. One second, let me just close my door. Maybe that'll help. trying to decide if it would be in our best interest. <laughs> Miss Lilo, lay down, Missy. Come on. I'm trying to decide if it would be in our best interest to go over all of this in white as well, but it might be too much. I'm not really sure. not cuddle time, Missy. You can sit on my lap. There you go. Ouch, watch the claws. I always get these little tiny red spots on my leg as if I've been poked by a needle a hundred times and I actually figured out the other day that it's from her doing the happy dance on my leg because she just can't do it without her claws. She's got super super sharp claws. So even though she tries not to puncture my skin it still happens. But at least she's cute. Yes, you are a good girl, I know. Well, Stitch is pretty antisocial. She, ow! Stop that. She is the cuddler. Hmm. I wonder if I should have even used this gray. Looking between these sides, I'm kind of liking this side more, but it's a little bit too late now, so... I think I will bring a little bit of white back into this. Probably won't be till the next part though. I thought that the 20% uh, would be light enough, but it's not seeming to be as light as I was kind of hoping for. I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen this one too and then take a sip of tea.
Okay, so there's our silver wreath, I think. Hmm. Let me talk to my guru and then we'll see. Okay, I was hoping to bounce some ideas off of a couple of friends, but I don't think they are available right now. So I'm just going to kind of wing it. And actually what I was just thinking, because I, I do like the idea of purple, but there's nothing else purple here. So, what I want to do is I want to go kind of like a really ice blue color. So, for the most part, I want them to start off like a really bright blue. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab non-photo blue. And then, I'm kind of thinking like a Caribbean blue fading into white. So, I think the Caribbean blue is actually Caribbean C. Yeah, it's PC1103. And then white, so let me just, I don't know if I have a swatch for that Caribbean blue. Let me just see here. Might have to make one. Those are non-photo blue. Let me just check my swatch list. I keep track of which ones I've made. I don't really make them until I need them, so... No, I don't have that one, so let's go ahead and quickly make one. Um, just need a piece of paper. So here you'll see how I make my swatches, although I do plan on remaking um, quite a few of them. Actually, all of them on some heavier card, because I just use normal copy paper. So just scribble some color down, and then we write the number, so, oh, that's not a good one. Okay, let's try this one. There we go, that's better. So 1103, and it's actually Caribbean C. So two R's, right? It's a little bit hard to read. And then I just take my scissors and I cut it out. And it's really that simple. But they are a little bit bendy and stuff because it's on just normal paper. So I do want to get some heavier card to put my color swatches on. So I'm going to start off with the non-photo blue. I'm going to go ahead. I want a sharp point because some of these details are really small. ahead and zoom in a little bit. Also with the non-photo blue, while we're here, I'm also going to just lightly, very lightly, put a little bit of a base of blue on her, um, her coat here. Actually, with the way that I think I'm going to do this coat, let's go ahead and we'll put in... I'm still not pushing too hard, kind of a medium pressure, but let's get that color in there. Doesn't have to be burnished, but I do want a deep color. You might think I'm crazy for this, but... It will work out. I've done this one before, so I know this will work out. I actually did this on hair, but it'll work the same for this. So this is actually going to be white, but it's going to have a blue undertone. I'm going to do the same thing for that little pom-pom in her hair. And 
then we'll move on to all of these little bits in around here. So for the stars, I want the stars to be really light. So I'm going to kind of mimic the star shape in the middle of the star. And then I'm going to just kind of bring it out a little bit and fade it. It's not really going to look like a star anymore, but we're just going to start with that shape and then we're going to bring it out. We're going to fade it out like that. Then we're going to switch to the Carib the Car Caribbean Sea. Caribbean? Caribbean? And I'm going to lightly go over top of the non-photo blue and I'm going to very lightly bring this out as well. I'm going to bring it pretty much all the way out to the edges, but I want to keep them pretty light. So we're just doing one star first to see how this works. And then we might kind of change up the technique later on because I do want it to be lighter than this, I think. <laughs> there goes my white. Totally busted the tip off that. Hopefully, I didn't completely break it. Not that I'd be too worried because it's like that tiny right now, but still, let's see if I can sharpen that. <laughs> I think that white might be done skis. Me and my butterfingers. I actually managed to get a decent point on that. So let's go in with our white. I'm going to start in at the very edges of the star. I want to keep those very light, as light as I can, and then we'll work our way into the darker areas. So that actually is fairly light. I think we'll try and make it lighter for the rest of the stars, though. And it will look a lot better once this is white. So we'll continue on starting in with the non-photo blue. I think what I want to do is so we might even get rid of that Caribbean Sea altogether. That we might just leave it with just the non-photo blue. So let's try that. We'll go a little bit lighter in the center and then just slightly fade it out. I think I want these stars to mostly be white with just a touch of blue. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to do that for all the rest of these stars. Okay, and these other little bits, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the non-photo blue and I'm going to go pretty opaque at the bottoms, and then I'm just going to fade it up and fade it out to white. I'm going to do that with all of these little bits here. So I'm just going to kind of pick out one side, have it darker, and then fade it to lighter. Probably go on opposite sides here, so I'll put the blue in on the right side of this one and then on the left side of this one. Okay, and then I'm just going to switch straight to the white and I'm just going to pop that in over top and blend into our blues. Sorry, you guys probably couldn't see that. So 
still in trouble with being so zoomed in. I want to have you guys close enough so you can see what I'm doing, but then it's also a hassle because I have to remember to move the page. Sometimes I get so into what I'm doing that I totally forget. Switching back to an old photo please just quickly there's one more bit here that I forgot. And then we'll just finish it off with the white. And then we'll also do this ribbon in her hair. So what I'm gonna do here. So I want to have the ribbon a little bit darker coming in from behind these berries and then also as it like, kind of turns down here. Okay, um, my phone stopped recording somewhere in there because I reached my 31 minute mark and then I had a panic attack because the video would not open on my phone so I couldn't see what I had missed so to tell you guys. And so I thought the file was corrupted, I just went and uploaded it to my computer and thank God, it's okay. So it ended right around in at the ribbon. So what we did was we put a little bit of shadow with the non-photo blue in at the tops and bottoms of these front pieces. And then we went in with the non-photo blue and just solidly colored in these two little pieces in the middle because they're in behind these pieces. And then we just took our white and we colored in over top of the front pieces to blend it all together. And then I think the very last thing that I did was her necklace and her earring, which I did pretty much the same thing. I put a little bit of non-photo blue in the middle of each, and then I took my white and I just kind of went over each of those. So that's all you missed, thank god, pretty simple, and the file still works, so our color along is saved. I was devastated thinking that I had to tell you guys that we'd have no Christmas color along, which would have been crazy. So this is going to be the end of part three, and part four probably won't be very long actually. But um, there is still quite a bit that I want to do to this, so we'll see. I'm not going to say anything too soon. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying so far, and I hope to see you next time where we get to finish this and see the final results. Okay, take care guys. Bye!